to DIY Easy Home Solutions. I'm your host, Yusef. Hello everybody, welcome to DIY Easy Home Solutions. Today we're going to talk about replacing a toilet supply line. So what we're going to do first is you remove the top cover of the toilet. As you can see here. Next, next, underneath here, take a view of it, please. Underneath here, you're going to detach from the main water line and make sure that your water line is shut off, which we have done previously. Then, always place a bucket underneath when you disconnect because the water tank has water in it. This water is not necessarily dirty water. It's just water that is in the reservoir that's gonna go into the main bowl here when you flush your waste products. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and undo the water line. Now what I want you to see What I want you to see is underneath the water line, there's a little plastic casing right here. Okay, this is what's holding this item here, which we're removing. This is what's holding it in place. So all you have to do is just untighten it by your hand. And as you can see, here comes the lid. Okay, then you're gonna, un gonna undo its pipe right here, lift it right up. And here you go, this is the old float supply. Here's the new float supply. Just like the old float supply, you put it right into place. Okay. And again, use the white cap. Okay. You want to then take your channel locks and tighten it because you don't want a chance of this thing coming loose and leaking in the future. Just like that. And the same goes with your cold water supply line to your toilet. Again, you want to make sure it's tight. 
Take your channel locks, grip it, and tighten it. really tight on you. Now if you come take a look up here, we have everything installed, water's in place, and now we place the tubing in there. Okay, this, this screwdriver port is how you adjust the flow up and down. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add water see if we got any leaks, and to see what level the float stops at. Start on the inside. Okay, what we're doing now is we're allowing this to fill up to see at what level the float's gonna stop at. What you're gonna need to do the adjustment is a Phillips head screwdriver. You want it to stop below this level right here, otherwise these water is just going to pour in. And if you got a septic system, that's the worst. As you see, it's going to go above that level. And because it's going above that level, you're going to get a constant sound. So what you want to do is adjust it to where it shuts off. Below that level. See how it's starting? Just keep twisting it counterclockwise to lower the flow until you get it at a proper level. The way you check the proper level is again flushing the toilet. And letting it fill back up. And like I said, you want it below this ridge here. Looks like there's more work we gotta do. So again. Flush it, put the level again. And there we go, we're at the perfect level. And as you can see, there is no way for the water to go in here, so you won't have constant running, wasting your water supply, and everything else. Finally, we put the lid back on. And there you go. That's how you replace a float valve in the toilet. At DIY Easy Home Solutions, thank you for watching. And if you liked this video and found this video informative, smash that like button and subscribe for future videos for your benefit. Thank you.
and have a wonderful day.